Hi, this is a review of my Ever Rose Rose Gold Two Tone Day Just. This is its basic profile. It's 36 millimeters in width from this point here to the crown. It comes with the upgraded bracelet. All the links are solid rose gold, 18k. The clasp opens differently to that of the GMT. You raise this point here and with a bit more pressure it clips open. The case back on this is the standard um, way the case back is on most of the Rolexes even the 16 710 GMT but as we if compared with the newer 116 713 you can see it has a that watch the one the far in the back has a flatter case back over here it's far flatter compared to this one and the lugs are raised on this side whereas here the lugs are at a lower plane than with the case back. Coming back to the day just, I just put that back. Here you can see the case back in a bit more detail. That's the clasp. And again, if I were to compare the clasp of the day just, you can see how that opens. If I were to pull this clasp out, you can see this clasp is different. You have this printy portion there I mean it locks it locks on like that that snaps on and this thing goes on that's because this is, this is a sport watch this is considered a sports watch that's why this has that clasp so the bracelet again closes very simply and then a bit of pressure and it closes it down this is also a rose a rose gold that's laid into the stainless steel clasp. The finishing is really nice. This clasp as well features it also features the comfort link, which as you can see is hiding over here. If I raise this, you can see there's it's not fully raised, or it's very turned over. You can see again same story. Whereas now if I put it that one I give it a bit of a tug. It just unclipped itself from this comfort link. And then to get it I to fold it it folds that way for normal wear. If you want to put it back on, I fold the link that way. Fold it over, apply some pressure, and it snaps shut. And that's the clasp on the new bracelet for the date just. Coming back to the dial of the watch, the bezel is again solid 18 carat rose gold. This dial is the pink dial with 10 brilliants. The R hand, second hand, a minute hand are also rose gold as is the crown it has the date magnification bubble that is that signifies Rolex and it also has a the usual raised sapphire glass let's turn it around again also should what should be noticed is the, the case style if, if the profile of this case is very different you can see the the lugs have kind of like a, a horned curvature it's very smooth the bracelet the stainless steel portion is brush finished and this is highly polished so straight away there's a contrasting between rose gold brush stainless steel stainless steel and mirror mirror polish stainless steel on these two sides and with this 
interesting curvature of the case whereas unlike the GMT2C the case itself is also brush polished only the sides are mirror polished whereas here there is no distinction between the bracelet and the case unless on close-up inspection of course and even here the case profile is far less distinctive than this hornbill type curvature over here it has the 3135 Rolex movement which has been in several of the other watches including the Submariner 16710 GMT, the Yachtmaster many of them have this even I think a couple of the Air Kings feature the same movement it's, it's, it's their base caliber pretty much and it has the crown on one comes off the same way you just unscrew it until it pops there we go the crown has popped and this will wind the moment the next pop would take me the date setting so if I get a date view there see the date is flipping next pop would whoops stop the second hand and then I can move the time as I want to ok here we are just going to date flip push it back in the movement starts ticking again and the crown goes back in as normal and a bit of pressure oh, it catches on ok third time should be the charm hopefully oh not not my luck over there there we go and now it is fully wound and tightened with finger pressure and quite interestingly the crown on my date just just about points perfectly upwards which is an interesting thing I hope you enjoyed this mini review of the Rolex date just in two tone stainless steel and rose gold thank you